Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD, is a technique used in conjunction with IVF. This technique can test the embryos for specific genetic disorders prior to their transfer to the uterus. With the prominent increase of these inheritable cancer risks, genetic testing has come to the forefront to prevent such genes being inherited. Specific inherited mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 increase the risk of female breast and ovarian cancers, and they have been associated with increased risks of several additional types of cancer. Together, BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations account for about 20 to 25 percent of hereditary breast cancers and about 5 to 10 percent of all breast cancers. In addition, mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 account for around 15 percent of ovarian cancers overall. Breast cancers associated with BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations tend to develop at younger ages than sporadic breast cancers. A harmful BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation can be inherited from a person's mother or father. Each child of a parent who carries a mutation in one of these genes has a 50% chance of inheriting the mutation. The effects of mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 are seen even when a person's second copy of the gene is normal. Because harmful BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutations are relatively rare in the general population, most experts agree that mutation testing of individuals who do not have cancer should be performed only when the person's family history suggests the possible presence of a harmful mutation in BRCA1 or BRCA2. There are options for couples with known BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. PGD is one of them. So far, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis screening for BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutations has been considered controversial. While most pre-implantation genetic diagnosis or also known as screening procedures, are indicated to remove completely the risk of inherited sex-linked and single gene diseases, such as cystic fibrosis, in the children of affected couples. Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis for the breast cancer mutations cannot remove the risk completely because the 10% background risk of breast cancer remains even after pre-implantation genetic screening. Moreover, breast and ovarian cancers are usually of late onset, with prevention and therapeutic options constantly improving. So the chances of successful treatment and many years of healthy life are high. Nor is breast cancer inevitable for a woman or man carrying a BRCA1 or 2 mutation. The controversy thus rests on the fact that a mutation in the BRCA gene increases susceptibility to breast or ovarian cancer, but does not reflect inevitability for developing the diseases. However, with female carriers of a mutation in either gene, having a lifetime risk of 60 to 80 percent for breast cancer and a risk of 30 to 60 percent BRCA1 or 5 to 20 percent BRCA2 for ovarian cancer. Many authorities have recognized the gravity of the risk and accepted a BRCA gene mutation as an indication for pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. CACRM, a San Diego Fertility Center, specializes in fertility preservation for cancer patients. This process involves in vitro fertilization and freezing of eggs and or embryos. For those patients who are BRCA positive, genetic studies can be done to screen the embryos for the BRCA gene before they are implanted into the patient or surrogate. Please allow CACRM and the caring staff to guide you in this process.